answer in English. <laughs> but, um, so I I was living in Basel, um, that is in the north um, or northwest part of Switzerland, um, and I was studying uh, in Lucerne. So I, I, I was already moving a little bit. Uh, then uh, I visited the refugee center in Basel. I live in, uh, I, I, I'm from Sardinia. So when I was back home, I also visited a refugee center there. So yes, I was moving a little, but um, uh, the main thing was that I was interviewing people from different countries. So that was the main collage, as you said. That is actually a very good term to explain this. La traduzco. Sí. Bueno, ella vivía, ella vivía en Basel en aquel momento eh, y, y bueno, en el norte de Suiza y, y bueno, y, y tuvo bastantes experiencias de conocer a los, a los refugiados que viven en Lucerna, en la ciudad de Lucerna, ella es de Cerdeña, entonces tuvo, sí, como, como varias experiencias de hablar con gente de refugiados, gente que, que estaba fuera de su país por diversas circunstancias, con lo cual sí que es cierto que esa, esa especie de colás que muestra la, la portada Es, es también un poco el reflejo del collage que tuvo que hacer ella para recoger las experiencias de todos los refugiados a lo largo de, de Europa. ¿no? It's a very interesting question because I, I as illustrator, I start uh, visually. So I didn't start with the text, I start with a sequence of pictures. Uh, and the technique is, uh, I, I normally sketch uh, by my hand, by hands, and then I, I move to the computer and uh, go on digitally. So it's a mixed uh, media, also with a lot of collage, so real paper that uh, move from the reality to the computer and then um, process it from there. Claro, ella trabaja, hablaba de que su método de trabajo es hacer un draft normalmente a mano eh, y luego lo pasa, lo pasa al ordenador y ya con el ordenador empieza a jugar con, con volúmenes, colores, etcétera, hasta que llega al, 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 al objeto final. Pero hay una cosa que me gustaría preguntarte, uh -huh. yo, creo, yo creo recordar que esto al principio era como una especie de proyecto para, para, para ordenador o visual o sí. iPad, ¿no? Sí, o sea, sí. Y luego pasó al libro, sí, ¿eso cómo fue? Sí, sí. ¿Cómo fue ese? Uh, Esa es una cosa que nunca le he preguntado. <laughs> it was uh, my, my project at the university, so, but from that project to this book uh, there is a further step. So I had a digital book at the mm -hmm. time in the university and it was digital because my tools were digital and because I was interested in um, a little bit exploring the, the potential of the digital tool. Um, and then from that I, I also found that with children it was actually, they, I also had a printed version mm -hmm. and they prefer much better the printed version yes. and also I had like this necessity of having a, a book that was a real book and then probably from there uh, a digital uh, application. Claro, ella empezó trabajando en digital porque esa era su manera de, 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 de crear ¿no? en un entorno digital y por eso el proyecto empezó siendo al principio un, un proyecto digital. Pero una vez que lo pasó a papel se dio cuenta de que los lectores, los jóvenes lectores, preferían el papel, que eso es una cosa un poco curiosa también que ocurre con los chavales, que prefieren el papel antes que el digital. Sí. Eh, y por eso el, el libro se, se transformó, vamos, quiero decir, el libro se... Eh, se gestó en papel en realidad y el, y el, el, el proyecto final fue un proyecto en papel. Tus referencias. Uh, 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 two things. For this book, the, I have a lot of references. I did a lot of research, and there are um, many books I, I went through. The main one is uh, by Shaun Tan, The Arrival. Uh, that is amazing and the graphic novel um, story is, is just, uh, that was very powerful and I, I really um, think that was the main point of, the point of like um, reference. Uh, but uh, your question is also, was also about the, ch the books I was reading as a child. Uh, and then when I was, yeah, yeah, no, I was uh, um, in, in the island I'm from, Sardinia, there is uh, an author, um, she's called uh, Bianca Pizzorno, and her books are always associated with illustration from uh, Quentin Blake, and I, this was my, my childhood, I, I just have, like, the first picture that comes to my mind, and I also love the, the books because they were always about, like, really powerful female characters that it's something that in um, uh, the literature for for children 
I felt it was missing for me. So I had so many uh, positive um, um, characters I could I could uh, play with, and I could imagine myself in their in their roles. It was just great. Yeah. Sí, bueno, no, eh, básicamente, resumiendo un poco también, ella pues, tiene grandes influencias de la novela gráfica y también de Sauntan. Y luego había una autora en Cerdeña, Bianca, Bianca Piachor, Pichorno. Pichorno, y luego también las referencias a Quentin Blake, es decir, todos los libros que le, que le influyeron cuando era pequeña, ella, ella decía que esa era su, su infancia. ¿no? My, my mom used to be uh, uh, the uh, head of a, a library, biblioteca sure. in uh, in Sardinia, um, and I grew up in this environment, and I just it, it was very important for me to to. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. Uh, yep.